Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And I hope you're well and still enjoying Virgo season and you've had beautiful solar returns. And for those whose solar returns are still due, I hope you have a beautiful birthday and a, a beautiful um, new year. All right, so this is for Mars in retrograde. Mars in Aries in retrograde. Um, it's Mars day today actually that I'm recording this and this just popped in my head It was like, you know what? I'll do a Mars in Aries. I'll do a Mars retrograde reading Because I feel like people are gonna be real like and this particular Mars retrograde is going to be extra spicy Because there's a square a square happening. I think with Neptune. I'm not a hundred percent sure But there's some kind of like extra sauce happening, right? So I thought you know what? Let me do a reading for the collective let me just get my notes because i created a spread nice and simple um on what's happening so this will we'll look at the truth of the matter whatever the energies were that created any kind of conflict or any kind of like buffing heads uh, prickly situations then we'll look at your truth or your side of it their side of it what's potentially blocking y'all's resolution or understanding um, the word of advice and then the potential resolution or final outcome however it resonates all right so this will be for virgo sun moon rising signs virgo mars those who have virgo in um, mars in virgo sorry um you can check the jupiter because that's the masculine energy you can check the venus because that's the feminine energy um especially moon in virgo because that's your feelings right so yeah let's look at it Let's see what's going on. So, Spirit Guides, what are the messages for Virgo for the month? Sorry, for Mars retrograde or what's, that, what's happening now? I didn't even think about, you see, this is how off the cuff this is. I haven't even looked at dates, how, this, how much time this will cover. So, let's say this will cover the entire Mars retrograde period all right so that started mars went retrograde on the 9th of september and it will go direct on the 13th of november so we can say that this reading will cover that period of time all right um maybe as i go on i might do a follow-up to this to see how things are going or progressing but for now let's say this will cover all of mars retrograde all right so spirit guys where are the messages for virgo for Mars retrograde and any kind of situations they might find themselves in, conflicts, um, quarrels, arguments, whatever the case may be. Let's look at it and see what's coming up. And actually I might pull an astrology card first. Eighteen, eighteen, forty-four percent. 18 18 wow beautiful all right spirit guides can i have one card for the theme for virgo for this mars retrograde all right there we go virgo mars in sagittarius domination Now, I don't know why people think that they can dominate Virgo. I feel I feel like Virgo is a is a quiet power. Virgo is not like the loud in your face, you know. There's a quiet power about Virgo, the sign of Virgo. And I feel as if people think that that means weakness. And I feel as if people like to feel as if they can dominate, talk over um virgo in some way well here it is mars in sagittarius domination at the bottom is the sun is sagittarius enthusiasm so it might be it might not necessarily be a trying to dominate out of a low vibration or trying to be horrible or negative it might just be that Virgo being earth and Sagittarius being fire, that that's where things might rub the wrong way. Like like Sagittarius might be like, yeah, 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 let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's get things done. And Virgo is very like, I just want to take my time. I just want to do my thing. I want to do it how I want to do it. And sad, and the Sagittarius energy might be trying to overpower, you know, and force Virgo into 
a different way of doing things into a different um my god i said power look the moon is scorpio power at the top so it's like and it's moon energy so emotions and all that um so yeah it's the sense of yeah trying to dominate trying to dominate we have Jupiter in Virgo, patience down the middle. Do you all see where this reading is going? We have patience, enthusiasm, and power. So it might not be that they're trying to dominate you in order to control you. It might just be that it's just different ways of doing things. And that might rub you the wrong way, Virgo. Because I feel Virgo has a very, all, we, we can be very methodical. And when we have something set in our mind about how things, how we want to do things, because um, we're all about efficiency and all that, and people want, and then fire energy comes in. That's where, yeah, fire and earth together. Think of that. Fire and earth, that's like a volcano. <laughs> all right. So let's see. What's the truth? What's really the truth at the, at the heart of this matter? Wow, this is amazing. I'm blowing my mind. There's a the fool at the bottom. So, some sort of new beginning. What's at the heart? What's the truth in this, this scenario? All right, so you have the Daughter of Pentacles reverse, which is Page of Pentacles reverse. So, it's a sense of whatever messages were exchanged, somebody don't want to necessarily hear what the other person has to say or have to offer. It's, it's kind of like Virgo is saying, but did I ask you though? Did I ask you for your opinion? Did I, like who? Why are you in my business? Is that that kind of energy, or or that's how the other person might feel, right? And I don't feel again. Virgo doesn't pick up and go, okay, you need to do it this way. I, at least I don't do that. I don't know any Virgos personally that do that. We wait to be asked for our opinions, and then when we offer, people don't necessarily want to hear what we have to say. So it might be that type of energy. We have another reverse card. Mother of Cups reverse or Queen of Cups reverse. So it's a sense of, so that's very feminine energies. That's definitely Virgo. Um, I feel as if the feminine energies aren't being appreciated in some way or un understood. There's just a misunderstanding here. Let me get one more card. What's happening here for the truth of the matter? Another person. Another person, Son of Wands reversed. Or the Knight of Wands reversed, which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Or Leo. Another person, too many cooks spoil the broth. I think that's what it is. Too many opinions. Too many opinions, nobody really listening. Um, can I have one more card, please, for the truth of this matter? All of these cards coming out reversed. The Hierophant reversed. The Lovers reversed. Wow. No kind of harmony. No kind of... Just not understanding each other. Just not... This is like a... This could be in a committed relationship. Because when I see the Hierophant and the Lovers together, that could be a marriage or a committed relationship or a very close relationship. It could be that you, when it comes to the spiritual connections... There's something just blocking and it might just be down to the retrograde. That's what happens. Like retrogrades make you go inwards, right? Um, and make those emotions that you've been hiding for a long time come up to the surface. To face, to heal, etc. So the other person might be feel obviously will be feeling the same way. So it's just like butting heads, really. That's nuts. All reverse cards. Okay, so what's Virgo's side of this scenario? What's Virgo's side? Ooh, and a whole bunch of cards just flipped over. No, two cards flipped over. All right, so Virgo's side, the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. No, Three of Wands, sorry. The Ace of Cups and the Three of Wands. So your side is that you just want, can't we all just get along? I just got love. I just want love. I just want to show love. I just want to share love. You know, I'm just looking to see how I can move forward in love. Or healing you know I'm just cool I'm just chilling I don't want no beef <laughs> that's what I'm saying for Virgo it's also a sense of y'all we're coming forward with this energy offering a cup of love in order to tie up some kind of loose end or 
to, like I said, create a sense of growth in some kind of situation. All right. Two of Pentacles here. All right. So what's the other person's side of this? What's the other person's side of this scenario? Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow. So it's like they've been real picky with whatever they, whatever you're offering is like they don't necessarily want to accept it for whatever reason or they don't trust what you're offering because you see there's a rat across some cups. So it's like the four of cups is a sense of not being able to receive somebody's love or receive somebody's offer because they're still in the space of old energies. They've not healed from something or they're not in a position yet to be able to see that what you're offering is actually something beautiful. And the four of wands is that sense of um, structure, stability. So they also want a structure and, a st and stability, but they're being really picky for whatever reason, you know, maybe still dealing with something from their past. So you're all pretty much on the same level. Y'all, I feel like y'all pretty want, pretty much want the same thing. I feel like Virgo is thinking long-term, you're thinking ahead. And the other person is, it's almost as if they're thinking, well, the way how I see it, it's already done. There's nothing more to add. So you don't need to offer anything because everything's already balanced. You have Virgo, you have three wands. This person has four. You understand? So maybe is that whatever you're offering to this person, maybe you just need to offer it to somebody who actually has space. I feel like this person doesn't have space. So in their minds, at least they don't have space. Drop a comment below, Virgo. Let me know if this is resonating because like I said, this is very much off the top of my head. Um, so this spread is just coming. I just more or less jotted this down. So let me know if how this is resonating. If it is, let's see what's blocking y'all from being able to see eye to eye. And that was a nice, clear message, the hangman. So it could be just down to divine timing. It's like neither party has enough information to go on. Um, there's a sense of a suspension. There's a sense of cloaking as well, you see? Maybe both people cloaking. Both people hiding for some reason. Hiding a lot of emotions. Hiding whatever is happening on the, on the underneath. Let's see. You got the six of wands six of swords six of swords six of swords at the bottom so it's like it's time maybe for both people whatever's holding back whatever needs to be healed and this is why the retrogrades are needed because you when it comes to mars retrograde where you would normally take action where where you would normally like channel energy outwards your fires outwards you're being asked maybe stop and think how have i been dealing with conflict up to this point how have i been dealing with other people and how they affect me and our interactions up to this point. You gaining some, this is to, whatever is happening within this connection is in order for you to see, for both people to see a higher level, to see a bigger picture from a different perspective, change your perspective on it. Maybe look at the other person's perspective and then look at your perspective. There's some kind of um, enlightenment happening. The high man, this is Neptune energy, Pisces energy. This is, this is about, like I said, enlightenment. Hanging in suspension in order to see a bigger picture. Okay, so what's the word of advice for Virgo? Thank you. You got the eight of wands. So that will break up, right? That energy is going to break up. Something's going to happen that's going to create. How Right now, I feel like everybody's like this. And something is going to happen that's going to create a like a, a scattering of energy. The eight of wands is fast moving energy. You can think of it as like fire flying through the air, right? So whether it's a message coming through, some kind of transition, some kind of movement, some kind of change when it comes to love, that's like Cupid's arrows. Like there's something here. There's going to be a, 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 a moment of clarity for both people that will allow y'all to then move forward, to, to allow this energy to move forward. Because I feel like y'all going in the same direction. It's just different ways of dealing. How it's 15, 15 when I look down. It's like how to use each person's strengths to push you forward. 
as opposed to trying both people trying to like pull in different directions the five of cups ah oh, there's sadness here wow two fives one at the top one at the bottom the five of pentacles at the top so feeling a lack maybe feeling abandoned and then the five of cups at the bottom grieving something but fives are the number of transitions so is that change still happening is change still coming in and here's temperance down the middle and you have sagittarius energy all over this reading temperance is sagittarius's card wow that's deep <laughs> all right let's see what's the final outcome or, po or possible resolution what's the final outcome for this energy okay so you got the six of wands so that's success transformation you see a, a butterfly you see all of that confusion at the bottom and then the butterfly um emerges from all of that so there's something beautiful transforming here changing from death comes life more or less this this six of wands is a sense of success victory support you know being recognized being appreciated you got that five of pentacles still here you got the nine of cups at the top and the ten of wands um let me get one more card for this wow boy 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 two major cards the strength card and the magician y'all saw the strength card flew out so this is Vir this is leo the strength card the magician could be virgo or gemini because this is mercury energy and mercury will, you all well, know mercury rules virgo um but it's about taking action here it's about having the strength of character it's about compassion it's about empathy you know patience strength and patience and then taking action where necessary in order for this rebirth to happen and and more than anything else all of this is happening within you but if you feel as if you need to reach out to somebody or whatever like the magician is here the magician is an energy of being of knowing how much power you hold right nobody has power over you you hold the power go back to your inner strength and know that you have a lot of power in this situation to transform it and if and 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 more so transform it from within it has to start from you okay virgo so that's your reading that's what i'm saying for mars retrograde or at least at the minute i might do a follow-up for this for all the signs as we progress but we'll see how it goes um let me know if you feel in the vibe of this reading like drop a comment let me know give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and thank you virgo for watching my video until next time, bye. And Virgo, I just had to pop back quickly and, and say to you that when I left and I looked at the bottom of the deck, the top and the middle, the Nine of Cups is at the bottom. Those are, that's your wishes being fulfilled. The top of the deck is the Six of Pentacles, which is balance. And when I cut the deck in half, okay, now I'm seeing the Two of Cups. But before, when I cut the deck in half, I saw the Emperor, right? I saw the Emperor. So for me, that's again, balance. Um, I can't find it now. Oh, here it is. The emperor showed up. All right. So whether that's an actual emperor for those who are thinking about love or just um, a sense of taking control of the situation, taking authority over your situation and how you feel, all of that's there. So balance, 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 balance. So now that's your reading. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.